Hello and welcome to episode 6 of my Arduino tutorial series. Today we're going to be going over DC motors, servo motors, and stepper motors using a breadboard power supply, the L293D chip, and connecting these various motors. First let's look at DC motors. DC motors are pretty basic, they use just a direct current. And when you supply power to them one way, then they turn one way. If you supply power to them the other way, then they rotate the other way. They're good for fast, continuous RPMs, and you utilize PWM to control the speed. Next, servo motors are similar to DC motors, but they have a gearing set and a control circuit to make sure the position stays the same. So they control position more precisely than standard DC. It has three wires instead of two. One for the ground, one for the power, and one for control, where you can decide where uh, in the arc that it's going to stay. It's designed where position is more important. It'd be used in things like robot arms or boat rudders. The frequency of the PWM pulse determines where in the arc it's going to move to. The neutral position value is different with each servo motor. Next we have stepper motors. Stepper motors favor position like a servo motor, but they use a different technique. They utilize multiple toothed electromagnets around, arranged around a center gear. They require an external control circuit or microcontroller to energize these magnets at the right time. When one magnet is turned off, the next one is turned on and attracts the gear to the new position. Thus these motors have predefined step angles through a full 360 degree rotation. There's two types, unipolar and bipolar. Bipolar are the strongest when it comes to torque, and they usually have four to eight leads, with two sets of electromagnetic coils, powered individually. Unipolar, less strong and identifiable by five, six, or eight leads. They also have two coils, but each has a center tap. This makes it have less torque resistance. Stepper motors are good for constant holding torque, and they don't have to be powered to hold their position. They're slow, but their rotation is precise, and they're easy to control. They're suited for 3D printers and similar devices where position is really important. We're going to be utilizing a breadboard power supply to keep the stress off of the, our Arduino board. We can also change independently the left and right side of the breadboard to be either not powered, 3 volts, or 5 volts. We could plug in an external wall plug-in like this, or we can use an external battery source. We also have a handy switch here that we can turn on and off without having to disconnect everything. Another thing we're using is the L293D chip, which is a chip to help us control DC motors. It allows us to turn the motor in the opposite direction, as well as control two motors independently, although we're mainly going to be just using one side of this chip. Now I'm going to show you how to connect these various motors to a breadboard in your Arduino and how they look when they're working. This has been episode 6 of my Arduino tutorial series. Today we went over DC motors, servo motors, and stepper motors. We used a breadboard power supply and the L293D chip. We connected all these motors and watched them work. Thanks for watching and see you next time.